those who want power over Americans, those who want power and money, the bureaucrats and politicians who really wish us ill to their own benefit, they divide us. They try to divide us. They create divisions. There's the division for race. There's a, they call it race. Uh, it's just genetic difference. Uh, there's a division on sex. There's a division on this, a division on that. Mm -hmm. This is nonsense. Go to the grocery store and look around. Do you know how different people are? Just look at them. They're shot, short, tall, fat, thin. <laughs> they have all kinds of characteristics. Look at how different human beings are. Those are all genetic characteristics. The, the color of their skin, for example, is such a minor characteristic among all the changes that it's irrelevant. And yet these people have subdivided Americans. I don't like those subdivisions. Mm -hmm. And it just is not good for our people or productive to try to look around and find differences between us by which we can classify ourselves. Mm -hmm. We're all Americans. The political issues, they're not Republican or Democrat. Mm -hmm. They're uh, American values. Uh, they were codified in the Constitution and Bill of Rights. Before that, the American settlers, starting at Plymouth Rock, uh, developed these. And in fact, they're in books going back to antiquity. They're in mm. the Bible. Mm. The best way for men and women to live together has been known for thousands of years. Mm. The issue of human freedom, uh, the desire to be free, to be your own man, to be free, to do what you want to do in life as mm. long as you don't encroach on your neighbor, that's built into everybody. Mm. American public schools uh, historically were truly excellent. Mm -hmm. When I went to the schools 50 years ago, American public schools were the best in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, I got a great education that got me into Caltech, and I've had a wonderful life in science, which I owe initially to those public schools. Mm -hmm. But over the last 50 years, we've had the encroachment of the public employee unions, uh, the state government, the federal government, and they've taken control of our schools away from our local people. Mm -hmm. And when they were locally controlled, the competition between the localities and the school districts and the, all of the resources being allocated by people who knew the students, they, they were part of the local community. When the local community controlled the schools, we had the best schools in the world. Mm -hmm. Now that local control has been ceded to big government and big unions. And the result of the United States is about 20th in the world, and it's a tragedy. Mm -hmm. Career politicians from all parties are involved in this thing. So it isn't a question of party, it's a question of principle. And when a party puts up a first-rate man or woman who believes in human freedom, feels the people's pain, wants to help them, that person should be supported. And when they put up some guy who's uh, in it for himself, and he's going to go into office and just see how much uh, power and money he can amass for himself, mm -hmm. that career politician, mm -hmm. You should vote against him, regardless of what party he's in. Yeah.